presentations are the most used method to showcase your work. From school projects to consultancy projects, presentation is the main source to represent the data and do decision making, which means your school grades or a million dollar decision is all based on how you have presented. And that's why today I want to focus on presentations. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Hadika Maksud. And on this channel, I talk about scholarships, study skills, and some study tools. To get started on presentations, I'm going to first give you some tips and tricks to get a better than before presentation. A presentation usually is visual and verbal. So you are showing something and you're speaking about it. Let's focus on the visual part of the presentation. The first one, do not have too many words. Having too many words in a presentation is very hard for the audience to listen to you and then read what's in the presentation. So it gets really complicated. To make the audience listen to you and understand you better, use your words verbally and show as less on the slides as possible. Then, instead of writing something, have a diagram. It's very easy for someone to look at a picture or a chart or a diagram instead of reading about it. Third one, do not do a too dark theme or a background. So you need to have a bit of a balance here. Once you're done making a slide, try to go back a few steps and see if it's visually pleasing. And do not do two strong colors together. Do not do two light colors together that it's not readable. Have a blend of the medium colors. Talking about colors, make a color theme. So I have seen presentations where every slide will have a different theme, a different design or different color combinations. This kind of puts off what you need to show is if you are presenting on one single topic, you need to have a single color theme. You can definitely play around with more than one colors. I have made presentations that had blue, orange, white, but you have to keep in mind how you are creating the balance and it's not looking too much. Fonts. This connects with the written part. If you have too much written on the slide, you definitely have to then cram it all in one slide and that makes your font smaller and then not readable. Next, do bullet points. Instead of writing paragraphs or three to four sentences in a slide, do two to three one-liners bullet points. It's easy for the eye to read. Next is slide numbers. When you're presenting, some people will understand a specific slide, whereas the others would have a question on a certain slide. So by the end of your presentation, you don't really have to have a confused audience and making you go, can you go back a little back and more, more. Instead of that, have slide numbers and then your audience will pick up the slide number. I have question on slide 14. Can you go back to slide 14? So it's just helpful and more organized when you have the slide numbers. If you are adding transitions or animation in your presentation, try to unify them. So for example, if your presentation is having a left transition, make sure at least there is a theme in it where four to five slides are doing the left transition. Now, where to actually make the presentation? We all know PowerPoint, we all know it works very well, but now having more creativity and less time in hand, we need a better, faster, more effective solution. I'm going to introduce you to some other tools and then we'll focus on one of the tools that I use personally and I think it's a game changer. There is Infographia, there is Canva, there is SlideQuest and Beautiful.ai. Among those, Beautiful.ai is the one that I want to talk about and I want to share some of the features of this brilliant product. This product has paid version as well as free version. The free version will have a bookmark and the paid version is $12 per month. But for students, you can get the pro version for free. So this is a chance for you. If you're a student, use this new tool and try and make the presentations even better without any fee. When I was introduced to beautiful.ai, I was blown away. It's easy, it's fun to use, and it saves so much time. And the best part was while I was making the presentation, I felt like the product itself is giving me ideas to make the whole story. For beautiful.ai, you need to create your account. If you have your student ID, use that ID and you get a free pro version. If you don't have student ID and you still want to give it a try, you can do it for free make an account or do the paid version. And you can also link your account to Google Drive. You can download it and then have it and present it on Google Drive as well. The selling point of this product is their templates. They have slide templates 
and then they have presentation templates. You can see that based on what data you want to show or the story you want to tell, you can choose a certain slide design. There is data and chart section where with minimal and simplistic slide is showcasing more data. My favorite is the visual impact slide section, or actually I like the comparison templates. Okay, never mind. I like most of their templates. I used this platform to make my PhD defense presentation. It was quick and interactive. So what I'm going to do here is show you the free version. You go to beautiful.ai, you log in, and here you can see there are built-in themes. So you don't have to worry about changing and editing text the whole time, editing the font size and the font design the whole time. This is done for you already. And the theme preview is going to show you some of the sample slides, for example, title slide, some descriptions and some graphics that you want to show. Furthermore, you have the option of changing the whole palette. So you can go ahead and choose a different color theme, which is amazing. You don't have to worry about what color goes with which one. They are doing that for you. So you want a bright one, there we go. You want a classic one, you have that. I think this is one of the brilliant features it has. Now let's go ahead and try some of these built-in themes. Now, if I go to bold, you see the whole title slide, the font, it changes. And I, as I go further, they will change. Let's go ahead and create presentation. Here you go. This is the place where you need to play around. What you do is first you need to name it. So let's say this is sample presentation you have named your presentation here you have your heading here to play around and what you can do more is you can add an image i have all these free photos to choose from this will be added right away and i can play around with the size and stuff the other best part is i can just with one click change the layout i do not have to worry about it however i want it is one click away now let's go ahead and add a slide. When I click that, I will be directed to the whole slide templates that they have. And here you can choose what is your next slide. For example, after the title, if you have an agenda, you click on the agenda and you further get into the templates for the agenda. Go ahead, do some screening and click on the style that you've working for you. So let's go ahead with these next steps. Once you have selected that, I'm just going to edit here, make the recipe anything. Step two, play around with this logo, the size of it. I can also play around with this size. You see the text scale changes. It changes for all of them. So you don't have to worry about doing it manually for each one. You can add another point if you want. You can also cancel one of the points and it will just delete the whole point. All right, let's go ahead and play around with one more. Let's say presentation with icons. Okay, so usually when you have to present data and you have so many paragraphs, instead of that, like I said, just show it visually. So if you want to show it visually, these are some of the brilliant options. And all you have to do is just click on one and you have a really good presentation slide and you know what i can click here and change the chart type i do not even have to do anything this is so great this is brilliant work happening and then the total budget let's say my budget was 500 so i write it here anything i don't want a budget i want just want a number i can have a number here right i can change the color accordingly there we go. I can even edit the chart. Let's say February was 25. It will change automatically. April will be not 30, but 40. There we go. I don't have to do anything. It's working on its own. Now, I can also add another chart within the same chart. And then, of course, I click the chart and I edit it accordingly. Just add another one or you can even delete the, the one that you've added you want just four you can do that you can play around like this and when you want the whole idea of your presentation click on these so you can visualize your whole presentation every single slide within one screen 
and this will help you see through the color theme, the fonts, the graphs and everything. All right, let's say when you are done with your presentation, you click here and what you can do is you can export the presentation. So you export presentation and I'm showing you the free version. So you see here, you can export it as PowerPoint, which is available for free and the others where you can do an editable PowerPoint, Google Slides, and you can present offline. These are included in the pro version. But the downside of a free version is that you cannot do too much of editing once you have exported the presentation. I highly recommend you to start using this product. Start with the free version, the trial version. And if you're a student or working in a company, you can actually have this one as pro version and have it in the budget of the project. And I think this will be a really good investment. One quick tip before I leave, always have your presentation checked by a new eye. So when you are working on a presentation, you just get so much involved in it. You always need a new eye and that new person can have a quick look and tell if you have a spelling mistake, if your fonts are here and there or any other irregularity that your eye has missed out on. So this is really helpful. Making presentations has become fun for me and I have prepared some templates that you can download for free. So have a look at the link below in the description. These templates include a portfolio. For example, if you want to present about yourself in an interview or a project proposal, if you're starting your school project and you want to present the proposal and let me know if they were helpful. Until my next video, bye.